Wow, I have just found an amazing booth. Tell me all about this. Well, this is made fire, and um, we're doing comics that are built and made for these devices. So we, you know, we're big believers in, as people are reading on these things, that we should reinvent the way that words and pictures are read. Okay, so it's like comics that you can go on your iPad or um, just on the go. Can you get it on your phone or is it just on an iPad? No, you can, yeah. We're across the iPad, the iPad mini, the iPhone, and also on the web now as well. So everything iOS and then the web. Wow. So it's kind of like a comic, but there's more to it. Yeah, we've taken comics, which are, and instead of just scanning in print to read on a screen, we've used layered files and time and sound and movement and pacing and some of the kind of dissolves and things you can do in film to bring the reading experience to life. And uh, we've had a really fantastic response. So I think we're the best rated app in the, in the books area of Apple. Like, people have really loved it. We've been out for about a year. We call the books motion books. Yeah. And uh, we've done a load with like Dave Gibbons, who did Watchmen, and uh, Liam Sharp, who's my co-founder there. Bill Sinkevich, who's this amazing artist. So yeah, we've had a really good time publishing our own. And then we've just announced um, four publishers have come on board to make uh, motion books. So IDW are doing Transformers, uh, My Little Pony, if you're into that, <laughs> and um, Star Trek. And then um, Boom Studios and um, and Top Cow and ITV are on board as well, doing some amazing properties. Wow, so you have some really big names on board, some really popular brands. Just started to be able to talk about that, which is great. Yeah, we're here to announce that, as well as making our tools. So we've built the software to make these books. This is sort of Let, let's take a look. Can you, can you give a demonstration? Yeah, I can give it, a, give it a go. So this is Dave Gibbons treatment. And uh, as you can see immediately, instead of doing a, a, a flat cover, we, we, we've created this kind of, hopefully this idea of a sort of a window that you dive through into the world. And then there's some sound on here, but you probably won't get, get much of it in this con. It's best on headphones, you know. Yeah, it's, um, it's kind of like really noisy in here. Yeah, it's noisy. So there's a little bit of a setup that talks about what treatment is here. And, uh, you know, it's a futuristic task force and uh, they go in and treat situations. And as I go forward, just to give you a sense of it, so I just, I just moved around. This is the pages here, and I can, we can jump into a scene. And then we either swipe or tap. And it's a reading experience. We're not trying to be videos, we're trying to be books. So, you, you know, something that needs to be read. And then different scenes demand different things, but um, we go to the final face-off, which is the treatment character and the kind of Yakuza mob member in Tokyo. I'm having to shout down the mic just to be able to keep <laughs> keep making a noise, keep talking. Um, anyway, hopefully you can get a sense of this. So this is, if you can see that, this is like the final moment, the final sort of uh, face off. And it's interesting because you can lead the eye and you can introduce things. And it's all flat layers. So it's very easy to make this. You don't need to have really complex, you don't have to be Pixar, you know, you, it's just flat, layered art. Anyway, that's um, give you an idea. Yeah, definitely, definitely. That's really good. It's like, it's kind of like the motion coming across. So I did hear some of the sound effects then. So is it, it's, it, they're not talking, it's just more like the music. And yeah, no, I'm glad you picked up on that. We didn't want to do voiceover because we didn't want people to stop reading. You know, when some, and voiceover is hard to get right. So we want to keep it as a book. So you're reading it. So all the sound is atmosphere, mood, punctuation, sound effects, but not uh, not voiceover. So yeah, this is this is a quick one here. This is this is one I've drawn called Mono, and I um, mean this this is about a kind of an ape man. I won't I won't go into all the details about it, but this is a big reveal moment, uh, which we, normally would be a double page spread. But in this in this scene, you can kind of this is the old curiosity shop. So Mono has been looking for this for a long time, and we get to actually be within the art. This is a 360 and we can look up at the ceiling. And so we've built, we've built ways of really being within the book. If you can see that, this is the baddie. They can have a big fight after this. Anyway, so <laughs> things like this to bring it to life beyond the book. Wow, so that's amazing. So you're inside that room basically when you're reading it yep. and you can spin it all the way around and see yeah, what's going on. You can see, yeah, there's a lot going on. I mean, he, he's been looking for this place for 
a long time. This is a key scene in the story. So it depends what the story demands. You know, you don't need to do this kind of ridiculous amount of art every page. But it's great to be able to have the tools to bring uh, a story to life when it warrants it. You know, to bring pacing and you can have your quiet moments and then you can bring, you know, like a fight scene or a dream sequence, you can start to really expand the story and make it more immersive. So basically, rather, this is smarter than a piece of paper. So we've built publishing tools uh, to make books that really, really come alive on these devices. Wow. Yeah. So, so at some point, are other people able to get on board and... Yeah, they are. Yeah, we've built these tools in a browser. So you can log in via Chrome or Firefox or Safari and you can build these books, these motion books. And we've just done a big partnership with DeviantArt. And DeviantArt, is, um, you know, they're supporting all of Artists Alley, the largest creator network in the world. Yeah. Incredible guys. And we're making all these tools available, not to anyone, but integrated into the DeviantArt community. So wow. anyone can make, publishers can make Transformers, but also your average Joe who's never made a comic book can make, can put their book next to Transformers. You know, it's quite an amazing situation where you can do grassroots and also the big stuff. I think that's like really amazing for like the, like just the whole of the industry that as well as like having the big boys in we can have like all like the little guys there's a lot of creators out there that it's, it's really difficult for them to get so their difficult. comic scene. It's so difficult yeah it's a, you know the, the, the industry is very around a lot of established characters you know there's the very famous uh, obviously the very famous properties that have been around a long time it's hard to get new new material out. So um, we love being this end of the con because it's all about the creators here. It's all about the people who actually made the stories. And it gets very commercial on the other end. So we're quite happy up here. We want to provide tools for this lot to make the new myths of the 21st century. That's what we're aiming for. Yay. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. So tell everyone again, where can they get access to this? What's the website? Yeah, great. It's called Madefire, M-A-D-E-F-I-R-E. -E, and it's a free app for iOS. So it's a free app on any of your Apple devices, as well as online at deviantart.com. Okay. So made, if you look up Made Fire on iOS or the web, and you'll find everything there to read. And most of the stories are free still, so it's a good time to do it. Definitely, and you are Ben. I'm Ben Wollstonehome. I'm the CEO and one of the founders here. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Lovely to meet you.